When we talk about improving soil, the conversation usually turns to compost, manure, or store-bought fertilizers. But soil health goes deeper, literally and figuratively, than what you throw on top. If you've already added your fair share of amendments and your soil still feels lifeless, compacted, or uncooperative, it might be time to look at other forces at play. This guide dives into five unexpected but incredibly effective ways to improve your soil without reaching for another bag of anything. Whether you're growing on a balcony, in raised beds, or backyard rows, these approaches can help transform your soil from the inside out. Start with roots, not just nutrients. One of the most overlooked ways to improve soil is through the roots of living plants. While we often focus on what we can add to the soil, we forget that roots are one of nature's greatest soil architects. The right mix of plant roots, especially deep-rooted and fibrous types, can break up compaction, improve water infiltration, and feed soil microbes with sugars through root exudates. Plants like daikon radish, chicory, and native grasses reach down deep, opening up the soil and leaving behind organic channels as they decompose. This encourages airflow, drainage, and biological activity. Even shallow-rooted plants contribute by maintaining a living network that continuously feeds soil microbes and fungi. Keeping something growing year-round, even in the off-season, is one of the smartest strategies for soil health that doesn't require lifting a shovel. Mulch. Like it's a microbial buffet. Mulching is often viewed as a moisture-saving or weed-suppressing layer, but when used strategically, it becomes a key engine of soil improvement. Organic mulches like chopped leaves, straw, or grass clippings do more than just sit on top. As they break down, they feed fungi, bacteria, and worms, driving the underground food web that keeps soil fertile. But here's the trick most gardeners miss. Layering different types of mulch can create a balanced micro-ecosystem, mimicking how forest floors operate. Alternating carbon-rich material like leaves with nitrogen-rich greens like kitchen scraps or green clippings provides a constant supply of energy to soil organisms. Over time, this not only builds a darker, loamier top layer, but also draws beneficial insects and worms deeper into your soil, aerating and enriching it naturally. Water like a gardener, not like a sprinkler. You know, watering habits shape soil health more than we think. Inconsistent or overly shallow watering, well, it actually trains plants to stay near the surface, which can lead to dry, compacted topsoil and poor microbial activity. On the flip side, deep, infrequent watering encourages roots to explore deeper layers, bringing with them oxygen, sugars, and beneficial microbial partnerships. Even better, when you combine deep watering with well-structured mulch layers or cover crops, you create a sponge effect one that holds moisture below the surface and encourages biological life to thrive where it's protected. Avoid compacting the soil by stepping in garden beds or using heavy hoses directly on the ground. Every droplet should help build structure, not collapse it. Encourage the soil food web, even if you don't compost. Soil isn't just dirt, it's alive, and it thrives on relationships. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, nematodes, and larger creatures like earthworms form an interconnected food web that drives fertility, disease resistance, and nutrient cycling. You don't need a compost pile to feed this web. You just need to stop interrupting it. Avoid synthetic pesticides and herbicides that kill microbes indiscriminately. Let decaying roots stay in the ground after harvesting. Use diluted homemade teas like comfrey nettle or banana peel soaks to lightly nourish the soil without overwhelming it. Incorporate aged leaf mold or native forest duff into the upper few inches of soil. All of these micro-additions spark biological activity in ways that powdered amendments cannot. Building life below the surface doesn't happen in one season, but it does start with every decision you make above it. Let fungi lead the way. If bacteria are the fast food workers of the soil, fungi are the architects. Mycorrhizal fungi in particular form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, extending their nutrient and water reach by tenfold. While many gardeners unknowingly destroy fungal networks through repeated digging or synthetic fertilizers, you can encourage their comeback through practices that mimic wild systems. Reduce tilling, allow plant matter to decompose in place, and use fungal-friendly mulches like wood chips or partially decomposed straw. Over time, these networks form dense underground highways that transport not just nutrients, but even water and plant signals. 
Some gardeners report improved plant resilience and yield within a year of encouraging fungal life, especially in perennial beds and no-dig systems. In areas where fungal populations are depleted, introducing native leaf litter or adding a pinch of forest soil to your bed edges can act as a starter culture to bring these allies back. The bottom line, amendments aren't everything. Soil isn't fixed with a single ingredient, it's transformed by how you manage it day to day. These unexpected methods, root diversity, dynamic mulching, strategic watering, microbial care, and fungal partnerships, offer long-term resilience and natural fertility without relying solely on compost, manure, or store-bought fixes. The real magic of soil improvement comes from working with the living system, not just on top of it. By applying these methods consistently, you'll notice subtle changes at first, more worms, easier digging, better water retention. But over time, those small shifts add up to something much bigger, a garden that thrives because its foundation, the soil, is truly alive. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Hydrohaven and share it with a fellow gardener. There's no one-size-fits-all fix, but together we can grow healthier soil one layer, one root, and one season at a time.